Hello everyone, my name is Dean and I'm the Westview Church Technology Director and today I want to show you how to install and use our new church app. So welcome to Church App 101, coming up. Now before we dive into this too deep, I want to show you something on the screen here that uh, is a list of topics that we are going to go through. Now, you may decide you want to come back later and uh, look at one particular item and not want to have to scan through the whole video. So at the very beginning here, I've listed the, all the topics and with their timestamp on it. And it's in minutes and seconds. Right now we're at 22 seconds on the installation of this video. So if you want to come back later, uh, all you have to do is scan through the bottom timeline on the YouTube video and just stop at the point that you're interested in and you want to review. So uh, with saying that, we'll uh, go ahead and dive on into this. Well, there are about three ways to install this on your phone and I'm going to show you some graphics using uh, my iPhone and it'll work just almost the same on an Android device uh, also. And now there are three ways you can get this app. Uh, probably the easiest way is to scan the QR code which I will show you here in a second. The second way is to have someone send you a link to the uh, application and the third way is just download it from the App Store. So uh, let me uh, get started here and I'll show you the uh, uh, first way using a QR code. If you want to go ahead and uh, pull out your phone and just follow along with me as we uh, do these installation procedures, feel free. And uh, if you want to uh, install it right now, just uh, take a shot of this uh, QR code with your camera on your uh, phone and that will link you to the uh, installation uh, from the App Store. Okay, so if you'll just hold your camera up to that uh, graphic you see on the screen here, put your camera on, and uh, just hold it up there, you'll see a little link at the bottom of the frame, and if you tap that, it will immediately take you to this page here, where you can just touch that uh, little cloud graphic to download it. Now these next steps will be the same whether you install it by using the App Store, a link in Messenger, or if you're using the QR code. Uh, they're all the same so we won't go over those three times. We'll just uh, show you a little later in the video how to get the app different ways. So uh, now that you should have the uh, uh, church app uh, download uh, complete from the from the cloud uh, we'll go on to the next step and it will ask you to whether you want to allow the church app to use your location and you will want to do this so use this uh, middle one right here where it says allow while using the app okay tap that uh, next step as the church app would like to send you notifications and you will need to use this when you uh, uh, receive notifications of a new prayer request or uh, uh, a group message or something like that or a push message which is kind of an emergency uh, call so uh, uh, go ahead and uh, tap allow on that one and now we need to find our church since we have the app downloaded it's kind of a basic framework for all of Tithely's uh, church apps so uh, every church that has subscribed to the Tithely uh, uh, system uh, will need to build their own app and we have done that so right now you just go down here to uh, search for your church and uh, then type in Westview Church of Hayes tap search uh, you will find that we have our logo in green here and so that's how you know it's our church of course the address will match and uh, just tap Westview Church of Hayes and then you'll get another message that says do you want to change the app icon to be the icon for your selected church and you can go ahead and do this I would recommend you do otherwise you will end up with this uh, generic blue Tithely app 
and so you won't know it's ours. So go ahead and uh, tap change and uh, then you'll be presented with a uh, notifications uh, request and you can subscribe to any of these uh, notification groups whether it's the guest ministry, worship team, ushers, Westview Women's Ministry, the Media Control Room Group, or the Prayer Warriors. And uh, I don't know if the Prayer Warriors is still active. It may not be. But anyway, switch on any of the ones you want to be a part of or you want to receive notifications for. And uh, just go ahead and uh, tap the switch there and you should get uh, something like this. And in my case, I subscribe to all of them since I need to know everything that's going on here and uh, when you're done with that uh, uh, you can hit this uh, left arrow button or uh, just close the uh, app out if you want to either way uh, if you hit the left arrow button or close the app out uh, it'll take you back to your uh, phone's home screen and you should see the church app right here where the arrow is and you'll be ready to go. The other two ways that I mentioned that you can get the app is to go to the App Store or to have someone send a link to it uh, via message. And uh, let's discuss the App Store right now. If you just uh, open your phone and uh, click on the App Store and when that comes in uh, you will be able to uh, search for an app and what I suggest you do is uh, go to just type in tithe and the one I prefer to use is tithe.ly and it's basically tithely and uh, touch that one and uh, you'll get a list of tithely apps they have several things that they use one of them is finance the other one is uh, tithely pay and uh, the one you're looking for is the church app highlighted in red here so just click open on that and uh, install it the way we uh, uh, suggested before at the beginning of this section just go through that again but uh, it's very uh, very similar uh, installation procedure after that part and while we're already on this screen let me uh, show you how you can send a link to someone who requests to uh, have the church app. It's very easy. All you need to do is come up here on, the, on your home screen, on the app home screen, where these uh, three little lines are. We call that the hamburger. And you click on that, and it'll take you to the settings page. And right here on the uh, settings page, you can share this app. Now you can also share the app by uh, going to your home page on your phone and just holding your finger down on the icon of our church app and when you do that you will get a, uh, a share app option and just touch that and you can uh, send it out to whoever you want to send it to uh, if you'll notice there was a list in the bottom there let me see if I can go back to that Yes, there it is. Now you can just uh, share it by an, an airdrop or I prefer to use message because that way you can pick the name out of your address book. Uh, you could also email it but that doesn't work too well since you're on the phone. Or you can have a list of your friends there and just uh, touch the icon there and uh, send them out the message. And the message should look like this when they get it. So all they have to do is tap the message there and it'll link them directly to the uh, app install page on the uh, uh, App Store or if you're using a uh, uh, Android device it should link it to the uh, Play Store in Google. Then you can use the previous steps to go ahead and, and set it up. All right, now we can go to the home screen, and if you'll follow along on your phones, just bring up the app, and you should see something similar to this. If not, you got the wrong app. 
<laughs> so uh, let's just go down this systematically from top to bottom and uh, we'll just deal with the uh, welcome tile right now. So if you'll touch that, uh, you'll get what looks like a uh, about page and a map of where the church is located, address and directions. Now uh, down here you'll get a call uh, icon that you can tap and get the phone numbers to the church. Uh, here you can tap the uh, times of the services and the website. So you can go straight to the website from this page. So let's uh, just tap on times and what that will do is bring up our service times and as you can see here our Sunday services start and ending times normally and so that's real handy and uh, now to just get back to the home screen just tap the home right here at the bottom left hand corner and you'll be back at the home screen now let's take a look at the worker schedule and directory since they both function very much alike there is one difference to get into directory you will need a password but let's start with the worker schedule so if you go ahead and uh, click on the worker schedule uh, tile it will take you directly to our website and on our website there's a little link down here called worker schedule PDF now when you uh, touch that it will uh, immediately open the PDF if you ha if you have an iPhone. Now, if you have an Android, uh, it'll ask you to download it, which is uh, just slightly different than what we're used to. But uh, just go ahead and download it, and then open it. And what you'll see then is a PDF of our worker schedule, and this will give you the. Uh, people and the departments and the dates and times that uh, or the dates anyway that they're supposed to be uh, scheduled for so uh, then uh, you go back to the uh, home page and uh, we're uh, ready to go to the directory so you'll just touch the directory tile and that will bring up uh, our website again and now you can uh, go down and just touch church directory PDF now again as I said the difference here is that it will ask you for a password and you will have to know that or you can not open this document so uh, if you don't have the password just uh, give me a call talk to me at church send me a personal message and I'll get with you and get and get you the most current password so uh, just go ahead and put in your password there and once you do that the uh, church directory will open to its cover page right there in PDF format again if you are using an Android you'll have to download the PDF and store it on the phone if you're rechecking your worker schedule uh, you will have to download a new version every time because we do change it quite often sometimes once a week and to get the latest version you'll have to download the new version whereas if you're using an iPhone uh, you'll get the new version every time so uh, try that out see how you like it and enjoy okay so now we come to the part of the training that we uh, set up our giving application here and so let's uh, just go over to our uh, home page and tap on the giving tile right there when you do that it will bring up uh, the first screen here and you'll get this screen if you have not set up an account yet you can also log in here if you already have one but uh, if not uh, all you have to do is tap create account right here and we'll uh, do that when you do, uh, you'll pre be presented with a panel here that asks for some personal information, first name, last name, uh, email, and you'll be able to create your own password and go ahead and confirm it so you know what it is. And please write it down somewhere and remember it because uh, you will need it in the future, I can guarantee it. Um, then. Uh, 
you'll need to create a four digit PIN number right here and confirm that. When you've got all that done you just uh, click Submit and uh, you're ready to go. Uh, you may be asked for a PIN number. Put that in. You will be able to go to the giving screen. So right here on the giving screen uh, you have the opportunity to uh, uh, log in if you haven't already. Now uh, if you've already set up an account and you go over here and you tap on the giving section you may just end up uh, getting this screen right here and all you have to do there is sign in with your email and password and uh, you can use one that's already stored in your phone if you want to by uh, using this option right down here but uh, from that point on uh, everybody will end up on this screen where you can uh, put in the amount you want to give we also have different categories that you can give to whether it's a guest speaker or a a special project for the church. You can select that here then uh, put in your amount that you want to give and down below that if you scroll down just a little bit farther right here you can use a credit card or a, a bank. If you use a credit card you will get this uh, visa number here and uh, just to confirm that's the card that you want to use. Now one thing that's brand new on this is you have the opportunity to cover fees. Now what this means is Tithely charges us about oh, a little less than 3% uh, to use this option on, on the app plus 30 cents per transaction. So uh, I had put in a dollar uh, I think it was just one dollar on the previous screen up above and so they added 34 cents which is the uh, 30 cent transaction fee and uh, three percent so that is about all there is to it for the giving part now uh, one thing I didn't mention yet is this uh, a little hamburger symbol up here that we talked about before. This is usually a setting symbol. When you uh, tap that you can go in and look at your uh, account settings and you can go to right here in my account and, and correct any errors or if you want to change something in your account uh, you can do that here. Uh, you can look at your recent giving and some reoccurring gifts that you may have set up and also some payment methods and you can add different payment methods or change your credit card number and uh, you can give them feedback or tell a friend also if you if you like this app a lot you can just tap that and, and uh, tell them about it so and that is about all there is to giving it's uh, quite easy uh, especially once you get it set up you just uh, tap the icon there or the uh, tile and uh, go for it and as always we certainly appreciate anything you would want to give to our church welcome back everyone and right now we want to get into a section of the app that I think is uh, quite frankly a little underutilized but I think it is one of the most valuable features of our uh, church app and that is the prayer wall. I really really like this because I think one of the things the church is called to do and in ministry and it is one of the most important ministries is to pray for one another and so this is a really good way to uh, connect everyone together to where uh, you can submit your prayers uh, have people listen to your prayers and most importantly pray for you so right now we're going to go into how to utilize this and how to use it properly and uh, don't be afraid to go into it because it's uh, very easy and uh, it's quite safe uh, if you don't want somebody to know about something uh, the moderator can take care of that or whatever but uh, let's just go ahead and uh, We'll open up our screen here and you'll go ahead and uh, tap the prayer wall uh, icon there and it will immediately open up a uh, screen that shows you a list of uh, prayer requests. 
Now, I want to tell you right away that uh, you don't have to submit a prayer. This could be any need that you may have uh, that you want the church body to know about. Go ahead and post it. If you need something or want uh, want people to know about something in your life that's going on that you uh, uh, would like their prayers about, go ahead and up here in the upper right-hand corner, just tap the Add button. And when you do that, it will open up another screen that uh, where you can title your prayer request or any request you have. Uh, you can put your name in there. Uh, that's optional. You don't have to do that. If you want to remain uh, anonymous to this request, uh, leave it blank. And then you can put in uh, the details of your uh, prayer or request. Now, uh, when you do that, uh, you will have to hit the send button. Now you'll notice that the send is grayed out here and this happens once in a while and I think they may have fixed that in a recent release but uh, you can't send until this goes blue like the cancel button did here. So uh, I'll show you a really easy way to get around that and all you have to do is come down here and tap the return button right after the last period on the details. So just tap that, the send will be uh, turned blue and then uh, you can click send and it will uh, send your prayer request off. Now it's not going to get posted right away, let me tell you that uh, straight up. Uh, it will get sent by email to our uh, moderators, which I am one and Pastor Tim is the other moderator. And we'll look it over and if there's any grammar or punctuation that needs to be corrected, we can do that. So don't worry about it if you don't use the right punctuation or something or misspell a word. Uh, that's not important. Uh, the moderator is there just to screen these requests so we don't get people from one of the stand countries or something that try to embed some malware into this. So uh, it only takes half a second for a moderator to approve it and once he does it will get posted and you will get a reply here it says your comment will be posted once it has been approved by the moderator just tap OK and uh, wait for it to show up which won't take very long at all and when you do uh, your prayer request will show up right here on the prayer wall and uh, here's an old one from last year and there's a couple of things on the screen here that I want to draw your attention to and uh, I've blurred this out to protect the non-anonymity of the uh, Mendenhall family but uh, uh, you can come down here and uh, there's a, a little thumbs up icon that you can tap on to commit to pray once you do it will increment this uh, reading here and it'll show the person who posted this and everyone else how many people are actually praying for this situation and uh, you can see that and if you want to you can also add a comment to it uh, anything like a praise the Lord it doesn't matter uh, just go ahead and type it in like you would a, a, a message on your uh, phone so do that hit post and uh, it again will go to the moderator and he'll approve it send it off and uh, you can go back uh, later on to the uh, prayer wall and check out all the prayer requests right there and as I said before right now this is a little underutilized so don't be shy about using it uh, go ahead and try it out uh, we really want you to don't be shy snap out of it well that takes care of the prayer section so let's go on to the uh, next feature of our church app Well, we have about three more tiles to review on the home page here. And so uh, let's just go ahead and I'll have you tap the uh, uh, live stream tile. And that will open up our video section 
of the app and uh, you'll get a list of previous live streams that we've posted. Now if you're watching this on Sunday mornings during the service, let's say you're at home or in the hospital or laid up somewhere, if you tap on the live stream tile you will get the uh, actual live stream broadcast will show up in this top section right here and when that is done and later on the afternoon it will be permanently posted and you'll be able to uh, uh, see it again if you so desire or watch any previous ones so that's very handy if uh, you can't make it to church if you tap on the calendar tile it will give you a list of events that are upcoming December 14th we have an ugly sweater Christmas party if you want to attend that uh, you're sure welcome to come and all the rest of them that's coming up and just page through it and you can see what you uh, are interested in if you want more information about that event just uh, tap the uh, little greater than symbol there and you can go and get more information on that you can also go to our web page and on our uh, web page you can come up here to our uh, event calendar it's a little hard to see because I've got it there we go and uh, just click on that and come down you'll get a list of events same thing that shows up on the app uh, you'll have a little more graphics involved here so you can go through that and just click on it and you'll get more information about what's going on and then the last thing on our uh, home screen today is news and videos tap that one and you'll get our news and videos that are currently being produced if there's an answer to prayer it's uh, in the inbox and that will show up here also anytime we post a uh, live stream video content on uh, YouTube it'll show up here and also uh, on Facebook those uh, posts will be here that you can look at so you can see all three at the same time uh, very handy next let's go on to the very bottom of the home screen here and we'll continue there welcome back everyone in this segment we're going to discuss the uh, home bar at the very bottom of the home screen now this bar will show up also if you go to the more side and in several parts of this application it will show up so you don't have to uh, hunt around for a lot of things you can always go back to the home screen here just by hitting home okay very simple now uh, the next thing I want to show you is the notify button now occasionally we will send out what we call push notifications this will let you know by your phone ringing or vibrating that there's something important going on that requires your attention either a urgent prayer request or something going on in the church maybe even a church closure for snow or something like that so uh, we'll send out a push notification to either myself or pastor Tim will do that and that's how you'll get it and it will look like this when it shows up on your screen I should say on your phone before you even open it so when you get one of those you can either tap this message or uh, open your phone to the app and once you do that you'll be taken to the inbox you have to tap notify first at the bottom if you if you go into the app first tap notify it'll take you to the inbox and the latest notification will show up here at the top and older ones are at the bottom now I have this uh, blurred out just to protect privacy 
but that's the way they will show up and then if you need more information on that particular notification just hit the uh, arrow right there okay now uh, out of that if you go down to the give heart right here it will take you to the uh, giving screen once again uh, before we do that let me back up just a little bit on these notifications if uh, you don't want to get them or you're tired of them you don't want to be bothered you can just go to the settings hamburger at the top of uh, our home screen yes if you hit the uh, little settings hamburger there it will take you over here to where you can turn off push notifications or any other group notifications that you're not interested in so you can do that anyway I wanted to just uh, tell you about that so uh, back to the give if you hit give it will take you to the giving screen uh, just like it did before on the tile on the home page so that's uh, what the give is about and occasionally you will see a uh, heart show up a little red heart show up on the screen uh, that's also a way you can give just tap that it'll also take you to the giving screen now if you want to you can go back to the home page just by hitting home and next in line are the podcasts just tap that and the podcast will take you to a list of sermons that are being preached uh, at this time and uh, older ones sorted by date latest at the top and a podcast is audio only so uh, if you don't want to watch the video do the podcast and tap that tap whichever one you're interested in like if we uh, tap this one for Pastor Tim uh, for last week on December 4th uh, you'll have the option down here to listen to it and if you click that it will play the uh, podcast to you the whole sermon you don't have to watch the video if you're not interested in seeing video and just want to listen to it I'd highly recommend this uh, or you can download it if you really want a copy of it you can also download it from this symbol right there and I think that's about it I think uh, in the next section we will go ahead and hit the more tab here and go over to the more page that's the next page so we'll see you in the next segment welcome back everyone right now I'd like to direct your attention to the uh, more tab down here so if you haven't opened your app yet uh, go ahead and uh, on your phone and open the church app and and uh, come on over to the more tab at the bottom and tap that and right now you'll get a screen here that shows you a whole list of uh, other segments in this application and uh, the first one I'll go through right quick and spend a little more time on groups and uh, the rest will be fairly self-explanatory so uh, if you'll hit the tips and frequently asked questions you will uh, come to this page here and listed on the page as you scroll down are some uh, questions that are probably asked the most about the church app so this will help you out a, a great deal if you don't understand something it'll probably be listed right here so uh, go ahead and check that out and see if uh, see if there's anything of interest to you once you're done with that let's uh, head on over to the groups and I want to show you a few things about the groups when you tap on that if you haven't signed in yet or created an account yet it will ask you to do that and so you have the opportunity here to log in with your user ID and password usually your email address and password click log in if you don't have one you can also sign up right here a uh, nice little convenient way to do that so once you do that uh, you will get to our group screen and here at the top you'll see uh, some notifications 
for if you've joined a group, if you have not joined a group yet, uh, it's also an opportunity to learn how to do that. It's basically for the group to send messages to other people in that particular group and it's exclusive of any other group. So in other words, if you look down here, the media control room is different than the Westview Women's Ministry. And so I can send messages and notify people that are in my particular group and not bother the other group. So when you get a message, you will see a one or more listed up here in red just to give you a indication that uh, something's come in for you. If you're not a member of a particular group, uh, you'll notice mine right here says I've joined. If So if you're uh, not a member, uh, go ahead and join. And uh, there's another way to sign into your Tidally account if it asks you to do that. We may come back to that later. but. Uh, to join, you almost have to be invited, so you can uh, invite someone to uh, join or message me somehow on your phone, and I'll see to it that you're included in a group. But uh, once you've requested to join a group and receive the invitation, we'll approve you to be in that group, and then you'll get all the messages that you've set up for in the original settings when you went to the hamburger uh, graphic over here and turned on those switches to be notified or not notified whatever your uh, pleasure is so uh, if there's somebody you want to invite to a group in other words if I had somebody I wanted to invite to my group I just click invite right here and it would uh, allow me to send them a message on their phone to uh, be included in the group. Once you've done that and are in a group, you can just use it just like you do Messenger on your phone. You send messages to someone. Everyone in that group will be notified so you don't have to single out any particular individual. When you send a message, it will go to the whole group at the same time. As you can see here, uh, we've had a little conversation here about uh, someone who uh, uh, can't uh, work Sunday to uh, do the camera, and I've posted a message, can anybody help, and someone, someone uh, certainly has uh, responded to that, and uh, we really appreciate when they, when they do things like that. So, and. Uh, once you've asked somebody to join, they will get a message on their phone that says, please join me in whatever group you're in. And uh, very nice thing to do. So uh, the next thing on the list uh, is the blog section. And uh, I'm going to skip over the news, the worker schedule and church directory, because that's included in the uh, home screen. So you don't really need to go over that anymore. Let's just uh, go to a blog, and uh, a blog is basically what it is. It's kind of a log of some of somebody that's uh, in leadership in a church that wants to uh, put out some information. Uh, this is a little test blog I did a while back for our new website. And if you touch the greater than symbol, it will open up some information on the new website design. Uh, or whatever the topic of that blog happens to be. Okay, and the next thing on the list would be the Bible. If you tap that, we also have a built-in Bible that you can use uh, during a service if you like. It's kind of a generic Bible, so it kind of covers all versions of, of, the, of the Word, and you can go through there and uh, click the plus or, or the greater than or less than symbol here and, and go to the next chapter or verse or verse and uh, right now we're on John 1 you can also touch right here and change your uh, book that you want to go to or, and uh, have your own little uh, Bible that you uh, want to uh, 
work with while you're listening to a, a message or sermon. Next up on the list is sermon notes, and that would be uh, anything that the pastor wants to place in his sermon that he wants to relate to you, just some special notes he wants, wants to make. You just tap that and go to the sermon notes. Very nice. And let's scroll on down here, and we'll go to uh, Vimeo. Years ago, uh, when Pastor Wes was here, we had a television uh, ministry, as well as broadcasting on over the Kansas network on television. We also uploaded it to Vimeo, so if you tap the Vimeo, you can get all the uh, messages that Pastor West did several years ago, and there are quite a number of them. There's over a hundred of them if you want to go through those, and uh, just tap anything on there it'll bring up our Vimeo account and you can uh, look through all the messages that Pastor Wes did. Next on the list is the About Us and the About Us is very much like the uh, uh, welcome page on the home screen and uh, you tap that you'll get a little information about our, our church where its location is, how to get directions Telephone numbers to call if you need to talk to someone, uh, service times, and also a link to our website. Next is our YouTube channel. And I'm sorry, it's uh, Meet the Staff. I got a little ahead of myself there. So uh, this is a little information about Pastor Tim and his family and other members on the church staff. Uh, it's very nice to go through to get a little history of uh, their life and ministry. Uh, let's go on to our Facebook page now. Uh, if you tap that, I'll give you a little link to it. And uh, uh, I haven't signed in here yet, but uh, uh, you can go straight to it and get any uh, new information that we posted on Facebook. If you want to go to our website, just come down here and tap our website. It'll take you directly through a link to our uh, new website. And then also after that, if you want to go to our YouTube channel, just tap that and it will take you right to our uh, video section of our YouTube channel where you can see all the uh, latest uh, live streams and videos that we posted. And this video here will also be posted in the video section. So if you want to pick it up right there in the videos, just uh, feel free to tap on it and, and go through the Church App 101 training. Well, that about does it for Church App 101. Thanks for watching. Now you know as much about the Church App as I do. I'm dang, now we are in trouble. We in trouble. All the cool links to the website and chapter marks are listed below in the description. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to be notified of any future videos or any new live streams that pop up. Until next time, Lord bless you.